Hi, namaste. This is Ali, and this is going to be a restorative yoga practice for the full moon with a theme of gratitude. And this is actually day one of a five day, five day long restorative yoga immersion with myself along with some of our staff at the School of Living Yoga from our Moon to Moon Restorative Yoga teacher training. And I'm just going to go over the props that we'll need for today's class quickly, but know that I'll also link a video here with Tina, which describes all of the things in your own home that you might use in lieu of some of these yoga props if you don't have these yoga props at home. So today I've got two bolsters with me. I've got my yoga mat with a blanket rolled out on top for extra cushioning. I've got an eye pillow. You could also use a scarf, that's optional. This one has got lavender scent in it from Laura, from Laura Sweet Flowering Yoga and Wellness Store. I've got two blocks and I've got an extra folded blanket as well. And just so you know, in this immersion, we are going to be doing a prize giveaway, which is this really amazing eye massager thing that I can't get enough of. It's from Bob and Brad, fellow YouTube creators. They're physiotherapists, and I fall asleep with this thing on. <laughs> I, I use it a couple times a day, no joke. So I really enjoy it, and I'm excited to give one away throughout this journey this immersion so all you have to do to be entered to win the prize is to leave a comment on each of the videos after you complete them in your own time over these next five days so i'll give you a little bit more details at the end of this practice about the immersion if you'd like to follow along and join us and i'm just so excited that you're here so let's begin okay so thank you so much for joining me as I mentioned, you might like to pause this video to grab any props that you might need or to watch Tina's video on using things that you have in your own home. Like I mentioned, I've got my bee yoga mat here under this folded blanket for extra cushioning. I've got two bolsters here, two blocks, an eye covering and a folded blanket. So. If you need to grab anything to support your practice, take a moment now to go and do that. And then we'll begin in a comfortable seated position. For some that might mean grabbing a bolster or a pillow and placing it beneath your sits bones to give you a little bit more elevation in the pelvis and release pressure on the low back or the hips. And then when you're ready, just Simply closing down the eyes. Feel your spine growing tall. Relaxing jaw. Parting the teeth. Begin to sense your breath. And then taking a deep inhale and shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale to roll the shoulders back down and away from the ears. Releasing breath through the mouth. And let's do that two more times. Deep breath in. Shrugging the shoulders up and releasing. And one more time. Deep breath in. Letting go. Good. And then Flipping the palms up to face the sky, relaxing the arms, the fingers. And with that softened gaze, relaxed eyelids, gently closed. Just take this next few moments to connect to your breath, to yourself. And notice any intention that you might have for taking this five day full moon restorative yoga and yoga nidra immersion.
allowing any intention that you might have to arise from the wisdom of your heart, tuning into your heart space. Tapping into any deeper why. Why are you here? What is it that you need in this moment of your life? Perhaps there's a need to slow down to rest and restore. Or perhaps there's a longing to cultivate more gratitude in your life for each blessing that you have. So whatever is alive for you in your heart right now, whatever brought you here, connecting to that and feeling it for the next few breaths. Good, and then with the eyes still closed, on your next exhale, drawing chin down to the chest. Taking a deep breath here into the stretch in the back of your neck. And then on your inhale, let your chin come back to neutral crown of the head back up to the sky. On your next exhale, let your right ear just drop down towards your right shoulder. I'm taking a deep breath into the left side of the neck. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, dropping left ear to left shoulder. Deep breath into the right side of your neck. Inhale to come back to center, crown of the head to the sky. And let's exhale back over to the right side, right ear to right shoulder. Deep breath. And then begin to stretch your left arm away from you. Right ear still drawing to right shoulder, just stretching out a comfortable stretch here, exploring what that feels like in your own body. Breathing. You might even flex at the wrist, flexing, pressing your palm away from you. You might spread your fingers wide. And then releasing the arm, inhale, crown of the head back up to the sky. And exhale over to the other side, left ear to left shoulder, deep breath. Good, and then stretching your right arm away from you, feeling the stretch here. Good option to flex at the wrist only if it feels good. And again, you might close your eyes and imagine that you're breathing into all of the 
little sensations flowing through the arm, the hand, the forearm. Maybe you spread the fingers wide. On your next exhale, releasing the arm back down. Inhale, head back to center. Right, and let's do one more time. Exhaling, ear to shoulder. Inhale to stretch your arm out and away from you and begin to draw some little circles here. You might even flex at the wrist again, pressing your heel of your palm away from you as you circle slowly, taking deep breaths into the stretches and sensations that you're finding on the side and then reversing the direction of the circles. Deep breaths. Staying true to the range of stretch and mobility that feels good for your body, like medicine for your body. One more deep breath here. And releasing the hand on the exhale. Lifting the crown on the inhale. Exhale, other side. Inhale to stretch your arm out. You might even flex and wrist and press your heel of your hand away. Option to start exploring some little circles here with the arm round and round. Slow, mindful movements. Feeling your way. Reversing direction. Another deep breath or two. Again, you might close down the eyes. Imagine you could breathe into the sensations all the way down into the fingertips. Deep breath in. Exhale to release the arm. Inhale, crown of the head up to the sky. And exhale, chin down to the chest. Bringing hands to heart center. On the inhale, let your palms draw forward and open your arms up. You might flutter your eyes open. Big stretch, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Open through the front of the chest and then exhale, rounding through the spine. Bringing the hands forward, palms might touch. Inhale to open up, lifting, reaching. And exhale to round through the spine, palms touch. Flowing with breath. Let's do one more time like that. You'd inhale to bring the hands back to the heart center. Namaskar mudra, close your eyes. Notice the sensations flowing through your arms, back, neck, chest. Sense the companion of your breath. Right, and then slowly reaching the arms out to the sides, all the way up and overhead. And a gentle twist towards the right, looking over your right shoulder, left arm sways across. And then inhale to sweep both arms back up to the sky and exhale, gentle twist to the other side, looking over the left shoulder. And then inhale to reach through the arms Exhale, gentle twist. Inhaling to reach. And exhale, twist. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Let's do one more time. Inhale. 
Inhaling, arms reach up. Exhale, hands down to the heart center. Let's interlace the fingers and draw the forearms towards each other. They don't have to touch, but drawing towards each other, rolling the wrists here. Again, you might close through the eyes. Imagine you could breathe into the sensations that you're finding, reversing the direction. Deep breaths through the nose. Good, and then fluttering the eyes, slowly open a soft gaze. Let's reverse the palms. So interlacing the fingers, pressing the palms away. And then inhale to reach the arms up. Exhale, come over into lateral stretch. And then let your arms float down towards the earth and around over to the other side, just like a big full moon, round and round, exhaling lateral stretch, arms come down, over to the other side, finding lateral stretch, drawing that full circle in the sky, and then reversing, lateral stretch up to the sky, lateral stretch, and slowly down. Do one more. Full moon energy. And then reaching up, looking up, releasing the hands, roll the wrists slowly down and around you. And then bringing hands to the heart. You might let your gaze just lift up to the sky as long as it feels okay for the neck or you might bring it a little bit more neutral. Just connecting here for a moment to that energy of la luna, full moon coming, the building energy. And might you bring your gaze back to neutral, close down through the eyes and bring into awareness something that you're grateful for. What are you grateful for here today? Just taking a couple of deep breaths into that something or someone that you feel is a blessing in your life. And you might imagine here, if you woke up tomorrow with only the things and the people that you express gratitude for in this moment, what are those most basic joys in your life? What are you most grateful for? and let yourself just start to be flooded by the very blessings, the simple blessings of your day-to-day life. You might mentally whisper the words, thank you. open, soft gaze, we'll come to set up in our first restorative posture by bringing one of the blocks where you might have a bunch of pillows to create a little bit of an incline. So you can always stack some pillows or a couch cushion and bringing the bolster over top to bring my other props down and around and I'm going to bring my left <clears throat> hip up to the bolster you might bring your right hip up first that's okay and then coming into a pinwheel position with the legs just for a moment and bringing 
hand over to the other side of the bolster. So if your right hand is on your leg, left hand on others, opposite side of the bolster from you. And then just taking a big stretch out with the arm, deep breath in. Exhale to come into a gentle twist, reaching away from you. And then inhale to open back up. Exhale, gentle twist. Let's do that one more time. Deep breath in. And exhale. And then letting this hand come down to the other side of the bolster. So hands are framing either side of the bolster. You might bring a pillow or a folded blanket along for this part to bring in between the knees. So you can either leave your knees in pinwheel position if it's comfortable, or you can stack the knees on a pillow in between or a folded blanket. And then walking the hands down to either side of the bolster, bringing the head to rest down. And then option here also to bring a pillow or folded blanket beneath your head if you need one. So that can be a nice option as well. So take as much time as you need here to get comfortable in this restorative twist. And then closing through the eyes, relaxing the jaw, relaxing the toes, Notice if you need to take any little adjustments in the hips, the pelvis, the legs, to get even more comfortable here. So it's all about the comfort of the pose here. Notice if you need to adjust the position of your torso or your arms, head or neck. and then allowing yourself to soften into the support beneath you. Taking long inhales and exhales through the nose if you can. Completely releasing the jaw and the tongue. and allowing the mind to rest from the world of analyzing and planning. Just dropping into sensing, listening, breathing. You might imagine that you're basking in the light of the full moon here. And as you bask here in that light, Might you imagine that moonlight touching every cell in your body? And you might even imagine every cell, trillions of cells, expressing gratitude. You might once again bring to mind something that you're grateful for. Letting the expression, the feeling of gratitude wash over you. Touching every cell, just 
like that moonlight shining down on you. A gentle encouragement of the breath. releasing all tension. Melting into the support beneath you. as little effort as possible. We'll transition over to the other side. So gently pressing up, knowing that these are mini practices. So we might hold the postures a little bit less than usual than in a full restorative practice. Let's turn to the other side, bringing your opposite hip to the bolster, bringing your legs into pinwheel position for a moment if it's comfortable. And with a very soft gaze, inhale to reach the arm out. Big breath in, exhale, gentle twist, reaching through the arm and then inhaling and exhaling. Let's do that one more time. Big breath in. And then finding the gentle twist, bringing hand down. So hands are framing the bolster, scooching the hip up. And again, you might leave your legs in the pinwheel position if that feels good. Or you might bring a folded blanket or pillow between your knees as you walk the hands down and place the head gently on your pillow or bolster, looking in the same direction as your knees. And then once again, taking the time here to adjust your body, adjust your hips, your legs. You might adjust the props or support between your legs, the prop beneath your head. Take some time to adjust the torso if needed taking those extra moments of care to set your body up for complete relaxation. And then begin to soften your toes, soften your fingers and hands. Let your body become heavy and your jaw heavy as well. Let your eyes soften and bring in that gentle encouragement of the breath. Breathing deep down into your belly. Gently parting the teeth. Imagine yourself basking in the light of the full moon. Full moon, energy building.
as you breathe and rest, bringing to mind what are you grateful for? How does it feel to appreciate each blessing in your life? Could you imagine or sense what gratitude feels like in the body? is an embodied feeling. Noticing the sensations. And you might imagine that felt sense, that felt expression of gratitude expanding radiating outward and very gently begin to press yourself slowly up and coming into one final posture bringing your sacrum up nice and snug to the bolster and then bringing the second bolster if you have one or some pillows behind your knees and you might even bring a little pillow underneath of your feet for support, letting the soles of your feet come towards each other and then supporting the thighs. So if you don't have a bolster, you could bring pillows under each thigh and then laying back and down, you might adjust your pillow behind your head if you've got one. And then tracing fingertips along the collarbones to open the heart gently and let your arms fall down alongside you. Or you might bring the hands onto the low belly, onto the earth. You might even put supports beneath your hands if you have some extra supports like blankets, folded blankets or pillows to go underneath each forearm or hand. And then closing down the eyes. Let your breath expand down into your belly. Notice any little micro adjustments you might need to take to get even more comfortable here. And the body often cools down in restorative yoga and yoga nidra as the nervous system relaxes deeply. So if there's any need to grab a blanket or warm socks, you might pause and grab those items for yourself or a sweater. Being sure to stay warm and cozy. And as you breathe deeply into the belly, no 
that this cooling effect means that you are going into those deeper states of rest and regeneration. Breathing into the space in your heart. Once again, you might imagine yourself basking in the light of the full moon. And that full moon light is charging the feeling of gratitude within your body. Might you once again conjure up something that you feel grateful for? One of the blessings in your life? If you woke up tomorrow with only what you expressed appreciation for right now, right here, all of those blessings in your life start to flood in. Flooding your awareness. Filling your body with this felt experience. For each blessing that arises, you might mentally whisper the words, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And very slowly, we'll begin to reawaken the body to come into a comfortable position, 
potentially for yoga nidra if you have the space and the time or if you'd like to practice here from this position you can stay here in this gentle heart opener with the gentle Baddha in the hips. You could simply extend your legs long if you like here on the supports. But for some, you'll feel very drawn to releasing the pillow and bolster from behind your body. So just letting that, those props come off to the side. And then relaxing down onto the earth. This is where you might like to grab your eye pillow. So I'm just going to go over a few final announcements for the immersion before we move into the yoga nidra, if you're practicing the yoga nidra with me today. Or if you're ready to come to an upright position and begin to carry on with your day, might you just Come to that comfortable seat and bring the hands gently to the heart center. Namaskar mudra, palm to palm. Gentle hands, bow the mind to the heart. Feeling your reverence for the practice, the practice of yoga, for the teachings, for all of the wise beings who've passed down the tradition of yoga for so many millennia, and for the living tradition of yoga that continues to show its wisdom of life. There's gratitude here for the moon and the natural cycles, for the teachings, for any of your teachers on this path. Big heartfelt thank you. Fluttering the eyes, gently open. And might you take a moment to listen to just these couple of announcements about our restorative yoga immersion so that you can find all of the details that you need for the upcoming practices. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, thank you so much again for joining me today. And as promised, I'm going to give you a little bit more information about our immersion. If you'd like to participate in the next four days over this full moon energy that we're cultivating gratitude throughout. So if you're one of our students, one of our trainees inside of the Moon to Moon Restorative Yoga teacher training. I'd love to hear from you in the comments and let me know how you feel. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you're not familiar with this training and you'd like to learn more about it, I'm going to be posting links below to all of the details for this online restorative yoga teacher training, which is a beautiful experience in a community of wonderful humans. And I really just can't say enough amazing things about it and the humans that are drawn to this particular work. And if you're participating in the five-day immersion, I'd also love to hear from you. Let me know how you feel. Just a reminder, we're giving away this amazing eye massager and you can win it by commenting on each of the practices. You can also, if you're signed up and you're receiving emails uh, while we're doing this live, you might also share on Instagram for more entries to win. I'll be leaving all sorts of information for you below, including at the end of this video, two yoga nidra practices that you might now go into if you're feeling 
excited to go into yoga nidra practice next and i'll also be leaving all sorts of information below in the comments and in the description including uh, the playlist our other teachers at the school of living yoga you might actually follow each of their youtube channels and subscribe so that you can be notified when they release the next practice Elizabeth will be guiding tomorrow's practice. If you'd like to purchase any of the props, the restorative yoga props, I will also leave uh, the sign up, where you, the page where you can sign up for this immersion. You can also scroll down beneath that sign up box and find a 15% off discount code for B Yoga, which is my yoga mat. I have the super thick Pilates yoga mat for more cushion and comfort. And of course, these beautiful half moon bolsters, blankets, blocks, all of the things that you saw me using in today's video, you can get a 15% discount code for any of that stuff if you'd like to um, have any of your own props at home for yoga practice, for restorative yoga practice. Okay, so thank you so much for being here with us on day one. Again, you can join this anytime. So if you're finding this at a different time, please feel free to follow along with the playlist at your own pace. And uh, any full moon, any full moon at any point in the year is perfect for this. So I'm leaving some links to Yoga Nidra here. Again, thank you so much for being here with me. And if you made it to the end of this video, leave me an extra little comment that says, complete. Okay, namaste. Have a wonderful rest of this immersion together.